just getting set to head out this morning. We're hunting in South Africa and there are a ton of Plains Games animals here. So not exactly sure what we're going out for just because there's so many, we'll go out and start glassing. And the cool thing is because there's so many opportunities, if you see something good, you can go right after it. So that's the plan for this morning. Very nice sable. Let me just check him out. Oh, that's a very good sable. That sable is probably 44, maybe 45. Yeah, Mark, I think we should let him have it. What do we got, Jason? Uh, 260. You ready? Ready. Giant sable. Big, big sable. Thanks, Good sir. Good shooting, Mark. Absolute beast. Well, that was a heck of a start to the day right there. One of the cool things about hunting planes game like this is you never exactly know what you're going to get into for the day. But if you're open-minded, you just go with the day. And right off the bat to run in a giant sable like this, that's pretty darn lucky is what that is. Take a little stroll okay. over the top here and see what's down below. Also nice to get nice and high and then we can see if we can find any of those lechway that are bedded down. Three seventy five Ruger, the dangerous game series by Hornady. These things do some damage on planes game. I use the same um, dangerous game solid. What I do in my pouch is I actually have both. So I've got expandables up on top and then I've got solids down below. So you're ready to go at any time. Especially if you get something small in the planes game, you can just switch and put a solid in there so it doesn't do much damage. and started glassing down and came into a group of impala and there let's see five different six different black impala rams there a couple commons there's a there's a decent one in there but we're just going to keep walking this little ridge line here and glassing down in these pockets also being up so high we can i mean see for miles so we'll just get up here and glass see what we can't see Top of the hill over there, we've got a two or three black impala. Yeah, the one on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's a very nice ram. I think we should. I think we should take him. Okay, the one that's the body's covered up. Yeah, the body's covered up in the grass. He's just below. There's, there's a ram just above him. One on the coming left. forward. Couple. Okay, now you can. He's the back one, right? The very last one. Yeah. yeah. You ready? 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 Yep. Straight down. Great shot. Well, we were just moving along, glassed up on this hillside, the one we just got done walking, and there was a really big black impala, and we had to wait for him to clear, but got a good shot. Looked like a giant black impala, which is pretty cool. And again, 
just plains game hunting. You don't know what you're going out after. You just kind of go and start glassing. And if you're open-minded on what you're going to see, things like this happen. Giant black and Paul, I can't wait to go see them. Oh, we got a black impala right here. This is the guy we saw on the hillside. He was running with a smaller one, just had to let him clear. That's an absolute gorgeous animal. Let's with him, Mark. Yep. Two, 285. As soon as he stops, let him have it. All right, take him. Ready, hey, just Ready. Oh. I got him good. We've been continuing to glass from the top of the Land Cruiser came across a giant lechway and where they're here, this is in the free orange state, there's not a lot of vegetation, so it's really, really tall grass. So when they bed down, they almost disappear. This guy stood up with another one, presented a good shot, and he is an absolute giant. We're gonna go take a look at him right now. We spotted this guy in the in the grass. He was bedded down and then hopped up. And you can tell it's starting about midday now, so it's starting to get warm. But how with this guy's color of his hair it just disappears out here in the grass. We're gonna get some quick picks and then get these guys back to the skinning shed as it's starting to warm up today. I like it. You change the ratio. Eh? Did you change the ratio on the picture? Uh, I didn't. Let me, let me do the ratio thing. Uh, how, how do you do that again? Well, what you do is you go into your phone. You've got to flick something somehow. Or you touch on that. You go to photo. You want to make your whole screen big. For the sake of the shortness of the show, the cameraman's going to have to show us <laughs> how to do this. <laughs> How did you do that? Let, let me do that again. Where it says four by three? Yeah, but I want to practice now. This is the fifth time you've done it. Oh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got it now. What you do is you, you get your phone. You see there where it says 4.3. You touch on that. And you take it to 16.9 and then your whole screen lights up. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Stick with me and I'll teach you all kinds of stuff, Justin. No problem. I'm here all week. So, so by um, switching that, what did that do? It makes, basically, so <laughs> my, my, my whole screen lights up so that I can take a picture, yeah? And uh, the 16.3 sounds very cool. I'm not sure what it does, but it, it sounds well, it's awesome. It, it's 16. <laughs> it's 16.9. Uh, 16.9. 